Hey everybody, it's your girl Naj and I'm back with another video. So today I'm talking about five ways that you can bounce back from a setback. Um, if y'all been following me on social media, then y'all know I love to exercise, I love to work out, I love to post my meals, but I ain't did none of that in about two weeks. Um, part of it is because my schedule changed for work, so I'm trying to adjust to that. Number two, um, I just ain't feel like it. And number three, I just ain't feel like it, <laughs> but it's all right. I really needed that time. And so now I'm getting back on track as of yesterday, which was Monday. So I ate right. I didn't work out because, um, well, first of all, my trainer canceled, um, classes yesterday. So, but my eating was on point, even though I forgot my, um, I bought tuna and had no mayo. So I just wound up having a yogurt and some, um, cucumbers with some Italian dressing for lunch and some water okay and then when i came home i had pre-made sunday some um baked turkey wings so it balanced itself out but today mother is prepared i have my lunch and everything together so let's get on with this video all right so number one how to bounce back the first thing that you don't want to do is beat yourself up all right i could do that no i'm kidding <laughs> no i'm kidding but for real don't beat yourself up okay it happened move on and one thing that I want to also point out is that our schedule is not going to be um, A, B, C, D, E every day of the week or every month of the year. Sometimes we do have to make adjustments and sometimes our bodies are just not ready to make the adjustments. So we have to ease into things. And that's one of the things that I noticed, like the whole summer, like I went hard the whole summer, but I didn't take any time off. So when it was time to go back to work, I was exhausted. So therefore, the time that I did take off, which was the two weeks, was needed. So again, number one, don't beat yourself up. We just got to just pick up for where we left off and keep pushing, okay? Number two, detox, but don't do anything drastic. Now, y'all know I do like the center cleanse, but I haven't had any days off, so I'm not able to take it. So I just been drinking my water, trying to flush myself because I did. My mom's birthday came. I had dessert. Um, my cycle came. I had dessert before my mother's birthday. I had dessert. Y'all see the pattern, right? <laughs> but whatever. I just been, like I said, drinking my water. And on my next, um, I think in about two weeks, my system should be flushed completely. Okay. <laughs> Number three. The next thing you want to do is meal prep, plan your meals, go food shopping, stock up, stock up your fridge with um, some good foods, um, pre-plan your meals, um, pre-season your meals so that you can be focused and on point. The worst thing that you want to do is not have anything for lunch while you're at work and then running out to McDonald's or Burger King or whatever fast food joint it is. Or the chicken shack. So we got a lot of those in Jersey. What about y'all? <laughs> so again, plan your meals. Think about what it is that you want to eat. And sometimes it can be hard, but think of, usually what I do is whatever I have Sunday night, I try to make enough for Monday and no later than Tuesday because I'm not a fan of leftovers like that but like spaghetti I, if I make it Sunday then I'll try to make enough for Monday but Tuesday mm -mm. I like red sauce but I don't want too much of it and the last well not the last thing number four take one day at a time it's gonna take time for me to get back into the groove of um because I'm not able to get there like I did over the summer but it's okay start where I can. All right. So I didn't work out yesterday. So like I said, I made sure my eating was on point today. Um, I have tuna. I did go and get my mayo. So I have tuna today. And then tonight I'm going to have a veggie burger and I'm, and I'm going to make also, also make one for tomorrow for lunch. So again, take one day at a time. You're not going to be able to do, um, everything all in one time. And like I said, it goes back to making adjustments. Like, be kind to yourself. Don't sit up there and say, oh, well, you know, I got to do this. I got to take it slow. And the last thing is number five. What was the trigger and plan ahead for the next time? All right. So for me, it's my cycle is the hardest thing. And y'all know I went 45 days, no sweets. I did really good. But my trigger was I was just being greedy because I knew my mother's birthday was coming up. And she was like, oh, have dessert with me. So I just had I had a pre-dessert. I had a dessert and then a post-dessert. <laughs> but it's all right. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope this has helped you. If it has, 
please leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up so that you can see more from me. Yeah, girl, Nodge. Until the next video.